I'm back to show you another face of bipolar depression, and that is apathy, I'm feeling apathetic. Apathy is basically, I don't care. I don't know, shrug my shoulders, whatever, whatever. It's unusual for my depression to go from the more upset to the um, foggy brain apathy slowing down thoughts slowing down movement um, I could sleep all day but I did get up because I have dogs that have special needs. I have a diabetic dog that needs to be, you know, fed at certain times. And so I'm not so far as that I let that down. I did get into the tub, but I don't care how I look. I don't care how I appear to others. There's no reason for me to care. There's nothing I'm gonna get out of caring what other people think when they look at me. Uh, there's nothing I'm gonna get out of a stranger looking at me and approving or disapproving, so I don't care. I don't care what the people in my life think, I already know. So, um, my dog's gonna drive me nuts through this whole thing. Come on. So, got in the tub, but I didn't exactly wash, I just got wet. Did put on clean clothes because I knew I was gonna be doing this. I, um,. I'm about to get very irritable. Penny, please. Anyway, see, she totally lost my concentration. Apathy can be in the form of, obviously, you just don't care what comes of anything. If you achieve anything, if you don't achieve, if you screw up or don't. So you just don't do it because you don't care. You don't care if you were walking down the street and a car came and smashed you against the wall. You just uh, wouldn't care. You just don't care. So you just don't care about the little things. You don't care about the big things. The house gets messy, overwhelmingly messy. So when you get out of your depression, you just have this big mess to clean up. You let yourself go in appearance. Um, you lose fr friendships because of neglecting them. And you lose your health because you don't care. You don't get your exercise. Why? You know? What's it gonna help? What's it gonna matter? You don't eat or you eat junk. And at its most bottom, you don't eat, care enough to get out of bed. You don't care enough to go to work. And you may not even care enough to bother with the people and things that depend on you. The day I get, I don't get up to give my, make sure my dog eats, one of my dog eats his morning meal and gets his insulin, the day I stay in bed because I don't care about that is the day I need to pick up the phone and call my doctor 
or go to the hospital because that would be very, that would be a sign for me, a red flag for me that I was very sick. So luckily I'm not that far in. But I do know that I'm just going to head for it <clears throat> after this a day or two, maybe of normal, and then it's back to, I'm hoping, I, I did have some, about a week of normal, I'm hoping for another week. Most likely I'll just slip back into hypomania, mania, and then agitated depression, and right back here again. That's rapid cycling. Well, <laughs> my poor little doggy. So it looks like maybe even by later today I may feel better since I did just crack a smile. But I wanted to show you that one of the uh, phases, next phases of depression. And then, maybe later today, I'll go back to the really awkward, really boring stuff about terminology. I think I was on bipolar too.